goodbye to a player who'd become, it seemed, almost a permanent part of the Chelsea scene. Ron Harris ends a 20-year career with Chelsea here at Stamford Bridge today. He's seen them win the Cup, he's seen them win in Europe, he's seen a few managers here as well, and he's had plenty of experience in the first division with Chelsea. And now Ron, Chopper Harris, hopes a win today will keep this Chelsea side in with a chance of promotion to the first division. They can only win here and wait to see what others do, of course. But for this game, at least, they have Mickey Joy back as substitute, although he's still not fully recovered from the after effects of chickenpox. Meanwhile, Oldham Athletic come with an unchanged side. They are seeking a double over Chelsea. Names, I must have been not all that familiar down here, although, of course, the number five, Kenny Clements, and the number eight, Jed Keegan, both played for Manchester City. And the number four, Richard Kawinichi, is a Polish international whose first game for Oldham was the 1-0 victory over Chelsea in December. The referee today is Dennis Hedges of Oxford. So Chelsea get us away in that all dark strip of blue. Oldham today in tangerine shirts and white shorts. And Chelsea certainly asked for the full backing of a good crowd here today. And they've had that already. Full of enthusiasm, there's Jed Keegan and at least three or four of the Oldham front men caught offside and a free kick for Chelsea. Whose big problem is that they've won only one of their last six games and indeed they've scored only four times in those six matches. That's really what has put Chelsea in this difficult position as they come to the last game of the season when for so long it looked as though they might easily get themselves into the first division after a really dreadful start to the season. It's Heaton on the far side, an 18-year-old, back to Hooligan. And here's Chivers now for Chelsea. Britain's made a, a dash through the middle, but has got himself into an offside position, a free kick for Oldham. Good cross in there, and Barota left to struggle a little bit there. That was a very good cross indeed from Atkinson, but here's Fillery now for Chelsea to Ron Harris. Steal again, inside for Keegan. And a chance maybe for Stainrod to get a shot in, and as you can see, a little annoyed with himself for not doing better. So maybe a certain amount of nervousness in the Chelsea side at the moment, and uh, I suppose that's to be expected. Well, finally, it does go into touch. It's Chelsea's throw. Walker. Foul by Holt on Walker, a free kick. Harris with it. Langley the ball comes to the number six Ronnie Blair Harris again goes back Bumstead Chivers Walker is okay on offside onto the left foot oh turn round there by McDonald into a good shooting position there, Clive Walker, and uh, the ground shot pushed round the post by Peter McDonnell. So Chelsea's corner. Walker with it. Men have come up from the back, floated on a difficult breeze here. Jim Steele's come back as well to help out, and an offside there. Although I think it might even be a free kick to Chelsea because, uh, yes, indeed, uh, the Oldham boots was very high there. And a free kick for Chelsea. Almost central, something like 23 yards out. And Fillery, Walker, and Britain behind it. There's the Oldham wall. Now, what are they going to come up with? Indirect free kick. Referee with his arm above. And Fillery! And it's in there! 
A deflection, Chelsea in the lead. With five minutes gone. Mike Fillery. Has brought a bit of joy and relief to Stamford Bridge. A little touch off there from that free kick. A hearty thump by Fillery. A deflection there off the Oldham defence. And leaving for Peter McDonald stranded. Chelsea won Oldham nil. And it'll be down to Mike Fillery in spite of that deflection. Chelsea chairman Brian Mears. Looking and wondering. Hayton. He's gone past Roth. Played in here for Steele, a little touch by him for Komenichi, and there's a ball played on here for Atkinson, and it's stopped this time, and it's going to be in there. No, it's kicked off the line. Well, Mickey Nutton suddenly came to the rescue there for Chelsea. There was a lovely ball played by the pole of Komenichi, and it looked as though there was a chance on there, except that Barota's knee got in the way for Oldham. Cleared it for Chelsea, only as far... Or in the end, nothing to clear it off the line from Steele. That's a good run there by Walker, and Chivers picked him up well. So it'll come to nothing because here's Jed Keegan again. Stainrod being shoved in the back. Good decision by the referee that. Colin Pates, it was just the merest touch, but it was a little push. Driven by Atkinson to Philip. Another four for Tommy Lang. And it's a corner. And the crowd were looking to the referee to see if he would uh, point to the spot. But that didn't even enter his head. And he plunged to the ground. And the corner already taken. It's with Britain. Played wide again for Fillery. Slightly different angle there, but to no avail, nothing offside. Free kick to Oldham. Quarter of an hour to half time. Standing going. There's a fan talking to a linesman on the other side of the field there. Still pursuing that linesman down the line, but the game's going on with Walker onside. I wonder if he was put off by that uh, fan. And Walker's gone all the way through and has got number two. And the fan who was there with the linesman is now on the field. That wasn't the one. And that must have been touch and go where the walker was offside. The linesman obviously felt that he wasn't. And walker went on 
went round the keeper and put it into the back of the net. Chelsea 2, Oldham 0. Five Walker gets his 12th of the season. going pretty well for Chelsea at the moment but of course it might just be too late at the moment it's Stainrod running over the ball Kamenichi a tremendous shot and Barota grabbed that one somewhere under his chin oh the pole really let one go there Barota knew all about it now Walker might on the run really running his man now Blair's got to go to keep with him he's being covered by Clements as well though Three against one there for Walker, but he tried to make it through there for Langley. Atkinson for all. Holt. Almost dispossessed there by Fillery. So tight at the top. So good news for Chelsea is either coming by way of Birmingham or by way of Cardiff where Sunderland are playing. But everybody here is keeping well in touch. And now it's with Atkinson. Stainrod. Well, it makes it all the more important if things are going Chelsea's way elsewhere that they make sure they go their way here as well. Koenichi for Oldham though, with Chelsea leading 2-0, a lovely reverse ball played there by Koenichi for Holt. Turned nicely by Stainrod, but uh, no power there to Bola Perota. So the half-time score here. Congratulations on promotion, that may be very optimistic and premature yet, but certainly Chelsea are doing all that they have to do so far, with goals in the first half by Mike Fillery, a deflection from that free kick, and then by the number 10, Clive Walker. And it may be that a linesman was distracted a little bit by a fan who was talking to him, or trying to talk to him. There was a touch of offside about it, maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. What is absolutely sure is Chelsea then go in, leading comfortably at half-time. A lot still to come on the big match today. A half-time score here at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 2, Oldham 0. We'll be back with the second half. Welcome back to Stamford Bridge, as Oldham Athletic now with the white shorts, attacking the goal to our right, two goals down. In fact, Oldham having their, it's their last game, of course, for Ron Harris here. You can imagine the thoughts that are going through his mind. But it's the best uh, season that Oldham have had since they came back to Division Two in 1974. Steele, Peter. And saved there comfortably by the keeper.
Bill Taylor, member of the England training squad, of course, one of them Greenwood's men, also involved with Oldham Athletic. And they're bringing off John Bunstead, Chelsea, to bring on the kid Gordon. It's had a good season for Chelsea, it's the young number four, though. Jeff Hurst was saying, here's Nicky Joy coming on, Jeff Hurst was saying that when he was out of the side, they didn't really function nearly as well as when he got himself almost fit again to come back. There were a few games when he wasn't fully fit, did Bumstead. But now Fillery. And Droy, in fact, is up amongst the front men. smile on his face, six foot four of him. And that will add a bit of weight to that Chelsea attack without any doubt. Langley. Walker's after it. Troy's waiting in the middle. Now he wants a good high cross there. It's not quite high enough. It'll come to Troy's left foot. Only half blocked away there by McDonnell and neither Langley nor Fillery could get in there. Langley's down injured. As that one came in, it was aimed first of all at Mickey Troy's head. And in the end, it deflected to his feet. And McDonald just about saved it. And Oldham got it away before two Chelsea men could pass. Chelsea taking it up with Britain, here's Walker. He's got Troy up in support, he's attacking Ronnie Blair, still with Walker. A left foot shot into the side netting. Scorching run again there by Clive Walker. A shot that was just a yard or so wide. Steele turning that down nicely for Stainrod. And a chance now for the pole for Minichi. Steele on the far side and a corner off Gary Chivers. players they must have known that things were happening in their favor somewhere else and what's going on here almost seems anticlimax by the reactions of the crowd from the news that's going on elsewhere but here we have Heaton for Oldham Stainrod and it might go anywhere in the end it comes here for Steele Stainrod jumping at an opponent there. And a free kick for Chelsea. Fillery for Britain. He can 
imagine how confusing it must be for the Chelsea players as well because they've no way of knowing what the news is that the crowd know. And of course all they know is that they have to keep their noses in front here today which they're doing very successfully with 3-0 the scoreline. And now with six minutes to go. suspecting as we come near to the end of the game that there might be a pitch invasion from delighted Chelsea fans but at the moment it's Heaton making the running for Oldham playing it across there towards Steele trying to stab it in there for the Polish Kovanici but he completely missed his kick well he was annoyed with himself and he's he had a really good game in the middle of the field actually he looks, uh, he looks a very good player indeed but that was a terrible miss the ball being played back nicely for him and he completely miscued. Dry up there, nodded on once more towards Clive Walker. But David Holt putting it away for a Chelsea throw. Yeah, well into time, added on for injuries. And there goes the final whistle. It's 3-0 for Chelsea. Two by Clive Walker, one by Mike Fillery. As the crowd swarms onto this pitch. Well, they've had an afternoon where they've seen Chelsea win by three goals to nil. But, of course, so much depends on what's happened elsewhere. The celebration certainly would be premature. But it's the end of a season that promises an awful lot for Chelsea with manager Jeff Hurst and a young side that clearly intends to go places. So, two goals for Clive Walker, one for Mike Fillery, and with the crowd on the pitch at Stamford Bridge still not knowing whether next season will bring them second division or first division football, a final scoreline here that reads Chelsea...